House of Kings is one of the premier vineyards in the world. Your family. It's a family. family. No one could believe a black surgeon bought a vineyard. They were expecting him to rip out those vines and put in a liquor store. You dig up every last bit of dirt on her you can. We're a bunch of backstabbing, paranoid liars. We are family. That's a sister sledge song. All right, own fans. So uh, I think I take back what I said in my Queen Sugar video, the one I did a couple days ago about season seven being the final season. You know, like, okay, what's own going to do now? Like, I think they, it's a wrap for them, but they're actually dropping a new series in January. Uh, actually, January 11th at 8 p.m. It looks like it's called The Kings of Napa. And... They released a teaser promo, which is about a minute long. Now, there's only a one paragraph summary so far for the actual series on Deadline. It was released two days ago. Created by Janine Sherman Barris. I might mispronounce it. I apologize. The series is focused on a picturesque Napa Valley, California vineyard owned by the Kings, an aspirational African-American family whose wealth and status land them on the pages of design magazines and society pages. The wine business has brought the family success and acclaim, but following the Partridge's sudden exit from the company, his three children must grapple for the reins to the kingdom, to their own power, wealth, and legacy. So basically, yeah, um, let me put it this way. This is, I mean, I'm literally watching and reviewing our kind of people as it airs, and, uh, yeah, to see more shows like this, uh, Black Dynasties, is pretty cool. I know the one actress, uh, I can't think of her name since I don't know it, but I do recognize her as the, um, the one child service agent that was helping Quincy Jr. on the haves and the have-nots, the one that uh, Erica and Candace beat, oh, well, Candace beat up. And other than that, I don't really recognize anybody else on the show. But essentially... Essentially, it looks like, you know, of course, the three uh, children are kind of going at it. It's kind of like, you know, uh, Jacob, Esau, and if there was another child going for Isaac's uh, inheritance. So, really, it's just a situation of underhandedness, how far black people will go to undermine their own kin just to make sure that the top of the food chain. And, well, this is definitely giving me a mixture of, like, ambitions, our kind of people... I don't know. I mean, I might check it out. Um, the reason I say that is because I was literally talking with a couple other people last night. Um, I have some collaboration videos coming up soon. I can't wait to uh, show you all those with other YouTubers. But, um, folks, I'm reviewing like 10 shows right now. <laughs> like right now, you know, House of Pain, Assisted Living, The Oval, Ruthless, which comes back next week, Sisters, Bruh. Of uh, the game, our kind of people, the Wonder Years, and uh, I forgot the last one off the top of my head. I just know it's there because of how much crap I review each week. Um, so good lord, I will see. I will say this much: by December, I know that both um, sisters should be off the air. By uh, yeah, sisters will be done by the end. Of, um, by the end of December. And I don't know about House of Pain and Assisted Living. I don't know how long they're going to run before they go on a break. I do know that the Wonder Years got ordered for a full season, but the mid-season should be coming up pretty soon within the next, like, three to, uh, by the end of the year. So, may, if by January, my schedule kind of clears up, I might add this show to the list to check it out. Um, But we'll have to wait and see. So, yeah, based on the trailer, looks pretty intriguing. You can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Really no need of doing a trailer breakdown because, like I said, this one paragraph synopsis kind of says it all. Um, you know, there's going to be, well, like Kevin Hart's cousin said in that one special, got to be careful out there in L.A. Sex, drugs, money, you need to get right with God. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I've never been to a vineyard. I know there are a few times that I was invited to go uh, when I used to work at the call center, but typically I always had to work the weekends that the group of people I knew went Plus, I don't drink anyway, so, eh. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Are you excited for the show? 
or are you think or are you thinking look i just want ambition season two or give me that new series of greenleaf they all promised the sequel series so um you could also argue this kind of has clean sugar vibes to it too remember i don't review a show like that but i have watched a few episodes so who knows all right guys well thanks so much for tuning in in the comment section below i will leave a link to the deadline article which goes over this um show and it also within the article has a link or yeah you could actually watch a youtube video for the trailer in the article itself so uh yeah make sure you like and subscribe let me know your thoughts uh would you want me to add this show to my roster but like i said it really depends like uh, i still haven't watched queens yet i've just been so busy and i know that um covenant that series on all black i might just wait until all eight episodes of uh drop because yeah, I'm busier than ever. Trust and believe. I remember when I thought the haves and the have-nots was the only show I needed. Then I slowly started to branch out. And here I am. I never thought I would be doing so many non-Tyler Perry shows on the channel. I'll say that much, which is a good feeling. But yeah, uh, let's talk about it more below. Like and subscribe. And if you want to donate, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App.